We want to determine the equation of the line with an x-intercept of three and a y-intercept of negative four. We want the linear equation in sloped-intercept form, which is the form y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope of the line and b is the y-intercept of the line. There are a couple ways to approach this. Let's first take a look at it graphically. Here's the x-intercept of positive three and the y-intercept of negative four. So the x-intercept has the coordinates three, zero, and the y-intercept has the coordinates zero, negative four. Now let's go back to the previous screen. So if we have two points on the line, we can use the equation m equals y sub two minus y sub one divided by x sub two minus x sub one to find the slope of the line passing through these two points. So let's go ahead and call these the ones and these the twos. So this is x sub one, y sub one, and this is x sub two, y sub two. So the slope of the line is gonna be equal to the ratio of the change of y to the change of x, or y sub two minus y sub one that's going to be negative four minus zero, that's negative four. And then x sub two minus x sub one is going to be zero minus three, so we'd have negative three. And this simplifies to positive four thirds. So now we know the slope of the line. And then remember b is the y-intercept of the line, and we're actually given the y-intercept, therefore b is equal to negative four. And now we have enough information to write the equation of the line in sloped-intercept form. The equation would be y equals four-thirds x, and then we could write plus negative four, but instead of adding a negative, it's more common to subtract a positive, so we'll write this as minus four. So if the y-intercept is negative, we'll have minus a constant, and if the y-intercept is positive, we'd have plus a constant. Now let's go back to the graph of the line and just verify this. Again, we were given a y-intercept of negative four, so this verifies that b is equal to negative four. And then, if we want to move from this point to this point, let's just verify the vertical change and horizontal change. So from this point, we'd have to go up four units and right three units. So this verifies the vertical change is positive four and the horizontal change is positive three, verifying our slope is equal to four thirds. So this does verify graphically that the equation of the line would be y equals four thirds x minus four. Okay, I hope this was helpful.